might feel better. Okay, so I'm just going to say, let's set up a simple, I mean, I do mean simple interaction between this artboard and the next one. So if you tap anywhere on this artboard, it'll take you to the next one. And I'll just reset it if I need to. So here, I say I like to place an order. Everything pops up. I'm move the mouse out of the way so you can see it better, right? So it moves up and fades in at the same time. And it looks pretty compelling. So we like that. So um, this would be a multi-step thing. Uh, like this order, it slides up. Is this order for delivery or for pickup? And again, if you look at the other um, prototype here, um, a message will come in. And then um, when the, um, the buttons are going to bounce in, first it'll move up one step. And then it'll move up a second step to allow enough room for the options, and then the options will animate in. So, okay, we've done we've done this first step where it moves up, and then it's going to move up a second step. We'll worry about the timing of things uh, after. So, I like to place an order. Sure thing is this for uh, pick up, and then the second step of this guy is where it's going to animate up further. We're not going to play with the opacity of this business yet because we're not showing anything that's being hidden in this next step. So delivery order for pickup, like order for delivery, order for pickup, right? We have these these items we're dropping here. So I'm gonna call them buttons. Order pickup, order for delivery. There you go. So I'm gonna drop them in place. Um, if I wanted to be more pixel perfect about this, I'd, I'd take an export of the flat version of this, drop it into place here, and then superimpose these assets on top of it. Um, I don't have to worry so much about that because I know uh, these things are have a uh, five pixel spacing between them and twenty pixels um, top edge and bottom edge, so it's easy enough for me just to uh, to drop them on here and then nudge them around by hand. So I'll drop this one there, drop that one there, make them both a scale of 0.5. Boom, and then align them with each other. There we go, and then check the spacing. I don't know what better way to do this than just counting um, in, in um, principle. If somebody knows a better way, please let me know. Uh, more comments coming on Facebook. Um, okay. So here we are again. I think we just did this. Yeah. There we go. The spacing is good. Uh, and then I'm going to group them so I can align them both simultaneously. All right, so back these here, so back out, and then center these bad boys. I can probably just click and drag the center. Yeah. All right, so the next step here is to get the top and bottom padding. So this is 20 pixels. And then uh, grab this with this layer here. There we go. One, two. There we go. So it's 20 from this edge, 20 from that edge. Boom. So it should look an awful lot like this version. I keep pointing at the screen. This is a sign that I'm a novice to, to live streaming. Because um, <laughs> I don't think you can see what I'm, I'm pointing at here. Um, so there we go. So these guys will both show up. Um, and I'm just going to set it to be an automatic transition. So once I click on this, it'll animate to this message appearing. And then it'll automatically, after some delay, ultimately, uh, animate to this next step so that these can both animate in. Uh, it's going to look really crude in this first pass. And that's fine. So we're going to say automatic transition to this next one here. And reset. So I come here, I click, boom, boom, right? So they just appear. They don't animate in yet. You see they, they, they exist over the top of this gray bubble here when they appear. So boom, there's a little overlap there. We don't want that. Uh, so this will be fun. So now I can ungroup them. And then I can move them down and have them bounce in. Um, I'm actually kind of having fun with it. I haven't played with uh, principle in a while, so this is fun. Okay. So order for the open order for pickup. They're both sitting above the keyboard right now, which is problematic. Even beneath the keyboard because they're going to animate from underneath the keyboard. Is that right? Are they underneath? Why am I seeing the keyboard? I move the keyboard to the top. 
but I shouldn't still see them. There. Oh, I see the messaging bar is different than I got it. I should probably group the messaging bar on the keyboard because they're both going to be effectively the same thing. So get these guys, messaging bar plus keyboard. So this is going to name this group um, the name of the layers that I've selected here. Um, the only reason that's that's important to me is that with uh, principal it will animate things, it will animate changes between um, specific layers based on how they're named. Um, so my concern would be if it gave them a different name um, each one of these times that it, it might try animating it out or animating a new thing in, um, things will look messy. Uh, but given that it's giving it the same name, I don't have to worry about it. So, okay. So put this the top, just for consistency sake. Bing, 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 got it. Okay, and save your work. Back to here, and you know, provided that I'll work, we should see no difference. Yeah, same thing, good. So this should now tuck underneath like we want. Perfect. Okay, so we have it animated to this point where these layers are both sitting up here in their desired endpoints. That's not actually what we want. We want them to start underneath and then animate to that endpoint. So I'm going to duplicate this artboard. So we have, I'm going to um, maximize this here, because this is what we need right now. Um, we're going to um, move these layers now underneath for this first one, and then have it automatically animate to this next one. That means we're going to have an auto animation, as we did before. So I select the artboard here on the side, so normally what you do is you select the layer that you want to animate, you choose a little lightning bolt, you choose what kind of interaction you want. Um, in this case, we want it to, to be on the artboard itself. So you, so you can cl uh, click the, the artboard and then use the little pop out comes from the artboard itself. So here we say automatically come to this guy here. We lost our little guy here, so I hit X, it should drop into place there. Um, so these will both be down below. And then what's going to happen initially is they're both going to move up together, and then I'm going to stagger the animation so go boom, boom. Um, so let's see. And it's product hunt um, notifications coming in. Thank you, product hunt. You be forever. All right. Okay. No more interruptions. Okay. So tuck these guys underneath, so you can't see them, and they'll, they'll automatically animate up. Right now they're going to use the default animation, it's not going to have that bounce, it's not going to have that, that, um, that uh, sort of stagger, like a stagger the animation between one and the next. So here I click, boom, boom, boom. Right, it's starting to look more like the animation we want. Um, I'm going to come back to here, I'm going to select those layers. I'm going to give them a spring animation. So here on the animate button, it pops up in this little, little um, tab here at the bottom. Oh, I have to click on the arrow here, so I have to do it. Um, select the animation, go from this one to that one. It shows me down here at the bottom the animations, the, the layers that are animating, layer one, layer two, right? Uh, order pick up and delivery. We want them to go delivery first and then pick up. So what we can do is stagger it. So this is a half second delay, that might be too much. Um, but it's going to do one animation, then the second one. Then if we come back to this artboard, if I can just click on this artboard, so we see one, two, right? I can hear you see it again, one, two. Um, the delay is a bit large, we'll play with that. I'm also going to, I'm um, also going to select these both, and then choose spring. What's convenient there is you don't have to select each one of these independently and change or, or fiddle with the menus independently. You can, you can click and drag and select both or, or all of your animations and apply the same uh, animation effect to all of them. So that saves you a lot of time. In this case, it's only two, but in the future, it'll be a lot more, and that's really a uh, huge time saver. Time saver. Um, all right. So if we come back to this one again, mouse over, boing, boing. A bit on the slow side. Yeah, what we're looking for is, is more like like this. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so it's a bit more rapid fire. Uh, I'm going to try it like this. Now, what I can always do is pop open the 
uh, original Pixate prototype I, I had and, and see what animation timing I had there. And um, uh, that's, that's a, I think, an easy way to do it. Um, you don't always have that access, so I'm, I'm going through the process right now of seeing how close we can get to reproducing it. And then what I'm going to do for my own satisfaction is go back into the, um, the original prototype after the fact and verify that I got the right timing. So um, to see how good I am at this, right? Test myself. Right. So let's get a little bit closer. It might just be a 10 second. Or a, a point 10 second delay there. Also, the spring seems a little bit um, softer than it was in the other one. So I'll type that as well. Like here. Let's see, it might not be a little fast. Let's play with these spring times, tensions, and so on. Friction. Um, see, it's a very soft curve there. How do I crank this guy up? Can do, can do these controls. Yeah. My problem here, I'm pointing with my hand again, but I don't want there to be too much snapback, as you see there. Like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We don't want that too much. Maybe, maybe something in here? Let's we'll see how that feels. It's a bit way too strong. Maybe down, maybe down. 800. That feels a lot closer, actually. All right, let's see what this one looks like again for a second. Why am I not seeing this update? Time to glitch there. Boom, boom, boom. This one get, does what? Boom, boom. Well, there's, they're coming in a little bit fast now. So we think we got the spring timing closer. It might just be a matter of playing with the, the delay. Yeah, that's a lot closer. I don't know if it's 0.25. Suspicion is 0.25. Of course. Right. 800. 800. One of them seemed to bounce more than the other one did. I don't know if it's just high. Go back to star try again. Boom. All right. Well, let's play with these delays a little bit. I think I want to give this uh, one second delay before the animation starts. So remember what happens is here I, I tap, it takes me to this state, and then it automatically advances to the next one. So I want it to delay um, by a, a second or two before it moves to the next state. Um, often when I'm, when I'm hashing out the actual interaction, um, I'll keep the animation duration shorter uh, especially if I'm starting from the start and moving forward to another statement flow. That way I don't have to sit through a very long animation on my way to get into something um, usable. Let's see, on a, on, a, on a future state, you know what I'm saying. So, let's see. So what I'm doing is here, goes to this state. Here I'm going to have a wait before it gets to this state. So all of these animations, again, I'm going to select them. I'm going to scooch them forward. Let's, let's make it a second. Let's see how it feels in a second. That might be too fast. So I click. Sure. Let's move it to pick up big. It's a lot closer. I think the spring is still a little bit hard on those. So let's play with that a little bit. Spring. Didn't bring down to 700. I think we started around 500. I can always make a new spring to verify. I like to start. Okay, I like this in the order. Sure. Is this thing good, good? That feels a lot like this guy. All right, come back to here. Oh. <laughs> your, your cursor needs to be in the window for that to be. That's the auto advance. There you go. Yeah, that feels good to me. All right, I think this is workable. Okay. All right. And again, we're in the early stages here. You can always come back and massage it a bit. 